What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. I appreciate your support. If you are new to the channel, haven't watched before, welcome. I hope you find what I do here interesting or informational or educational. Uh, one of the three, hopefully. If not any of those three, hopefully you find it entertaining. Hopefully you get something good out of it and you didn't just waste your time. Because if you did, boy, I am in some trouble. <laughs> so that being said, uh, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. Um, <clears throat> real quick, I wanted to touch on something. And that is the community post that I put up yesterday or the day before um, about my potential for a long-term project. Um, that community post and this, the you know the replies I got to it and the votes I got out of it are no not too far off from what I expected. Um, I figured most people would want to see a window manager, which is great. I'd love to create my own window manager. Um, I'd also love to try and create my own operating system, and I'd love to create a game. Um, that being said, I just want to kind of like get out there what I'm planning on doing here. Um, I'm new to all this stuff, um, you know, shell scripting, uh, any type of coding, any of that is, is all new to me. Um, I don't have hardly any experience doing any of it. Um, but I'm the type of person that the only way I can retain anything is if I actually put it into practice. And I know there's probably a lot of you guys out there that are just like that. Um, but for me, I can sit there and read and read and read. And I believe me, I've read a ton and I've watched a ton of tutorials and I've played around with things enough to <clears throat> kind of wet my beak a little bit on, um, what's going on in the coding industry and what's going on with different languages. Um, but I just really can't find that one thing that I want to do to, you know, actually solidify what I'm learning here. You know, you see all these, all these posts all over the place, you know, create something like a to-do app or like, uh, you know, something, uh, something small, just something to get your mind going. Well, I, I don't work that way. <laughs> I like to challenge myself. I like a big challenge. And I'm going to say right off the bat, sometimes I fail miserably. So the expectation for this project, I hope isn't high because a lot of times I fail miserably. A lot of times the only thing I learn is how not to do something. Um, and that's okay because any type of knowledge you can take away from something like this is good knowledge. So basically what I'm trying to do here is just get a project going that I can just spend a whole lot of time on. I can dig in deep and I can just expand my knowledge and hopefully, you know, get some of this on, on screen and show you guys and go through this so hopefully it can help some of you guys. Even if I fail at it and my project doesn't turn out, hopefully you guys can at least get something out of this like, okay. You know, this is the way you don't do something, or this is this this is what happens if you do something this way. So, that being said, again, this isn't 100% guaranteed just yet. Um, I would like to start it sooner rather than later, but I'm probably looking at a couple months out from now. Um, I'm still in school at the moment, um, and I'm going to be going back for my bachelor's. So, um, I am quite busy. I've said numerous times I've got you know a wife and four kids, so I'm busy there too. I work full time. So please be patient with me on this. Um, as with everything, you know, I try to get videos out fairly regularly. Um, this won't affect, <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry, I got a little bit of junk, uh, cold or something going around. Not COVID, don't worry. Um, this won't affect my regular videos and the regular stuff I put out. This will just kind of be a occasional special thing every now and then, but um, that is the plan. Um, so yeah, creating a game, creating an operating system, creating a window manager, just something to actually get me going, get my mind working. And so yeah, hopefully you guys uh, will be able to find it interesting. And yeah, that's all, pretty much all I got to say about that. So let's get into today's video and what I wanted to talk about today. My last video I put out, I covered my uh, prompt in my terminal having um, my git status. So if we launch a terminal here, let's go ahead and clear the screen, let's zoom in, and if I cd into dot local slash scripts, um, you can see we went over this right here. It gives me the branch of my repository and then tells me if I have any modified files or deleted files or anything like that. So that's what that was and then I kind of went over the um, just going over getting a little bit of color um, in my in my prompt with like the colored man pages and stuff like that in the terminal in bash so that being said I wanted to go back over and let's go ahead and go let's zoom out a little bit because I think I'm gonna be pretty close and let's go into my um, dot bash RC file which I have aliased I just type in bconf but this is going to actually open up my dot bash RC file in vim so if I type bconf and hit enter it opens up my dot bash RC and see we're still a little close um, but that being said, 
if you remember this, we went down here and we just created a couple functions to get the um, <clears throat> the status and the branch of my Git repositories. Real simple. I showed you how to do it, and then you come down here to the PS1, which is your actual prompt, and it shows here that we called it. Uh, we called the branch right here, which is um, to show which branch we're on, and then we parse Git dirty right here to show which. Um, whether we have modified files. So I'm gonna just kinda of go over real quick on camera how you actually just go ahead and write functions and you can basically put whatever you want to in your bash prompt. You can have all kinds of fun with it, you can you know personalize it, you can just do all kinds of things in this and it's just super cool. So let's go ahead and go to another workspace here. I'm gonna open another terminal. Uh, we are going to clear the screen and we are gonna zoom in. Now I'm gonna CD into my dot local directory again and then I'm gonna CD into share. So now if I do a PWD, you can see I'm in home jake.local share, which I guess you could have seen right here. But uh, let's clear the screen. Uh, so home jake.local share. And let's do an LS. So when I do an LS, you can see right here I have this directory that I've created called prompt comments, right? So let's go ahead and CD into prompt comments. Let's hit tab to autocomplete and we hit enter. And you can see we're in dot local share prompt comments now. If I do an ls here, you can see I've got six files. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got mean, mean one, mean two, nice, nice two, nice three, dot txt. All just basic text files. Nothing special about them. Um, there's nothing, nothing you need to do with them. You can just create these text files and they're there. So now in my home, dot local, share, prompt comments, I have these six files. So let's go back over to our dot bash rc and we're gonna create a new function. So if we go to insert mode and we're gonna create a function and I'm just gonna call this function prompt, not prompt, prompt underscore comment. So we named the function there. We're gonna do an open and closing bracket. We're gonna do a space and we're gonna do a curly brace. We're gonna go ahead and hit enter, hit enter, drop down line and we're gonna start our function right now. So what do we want in this function? Well, function in this function I want to, let's see, I wanna declare dir as my home slash dot local slash share slash prompt comments slash directory so I've created a I've declared the dir variable as my home dot local share prompt comments directory so now we're going to enter we're going to declare another one and we're going to declare a message and we are going to make that and we are going to have the find command, not fund, find, and we're gonna find that directory that we just declared right here. So we're gonna find home.local share prompt comments, and then we're gonna look for any, so we need a star for a glob, so we're gonna look for any .txt files in that directory. We're gonna take those and we're gonna pipe them into shuff which is gonna kinda randomize them, shuffle them up, and then we are going to randomly select one. And then we are going to close that parenthesis and double quote it. <clears throat> now, what we wanna do is we wanna cat, which means concatenate, so basically we're gonna take this directory, we're gonna find it, and we're gonna look for any .txt files, we're gonna pipe that into shove, and we're gonna randomly select one of those. Then we are going to cat out or write out that one file that we randomly selected. And that is it. That is the end of our function. So again, all this does is it declares a directory. Uh, the message is we find that directory, look for any .txt files in it, and we pipe them into shuff and randomly select one, and then we cat out whatever file we've selected. So now we have our function. Let's come down here to our prompt. So if we go over here and we look again, we can see we've got all the stuff before our prompt, and then we have these arrows. Well, I want to put this information right here before the arrows. So let's go ahead and go back here. Let's in our um, PS1. Let's go ahead and look for those arrows, which you can see that they are right here. So here's that first arrow, and then here's those second two. So I want to put it right before that. So basically, what I'm going to do is I want a little bit of space in between. I'm going to put a space here, and I want to I want to wrap them in a square bracket so that way it's separate. So we're going to put a square bracket. We're going to do a backslash excuse me we're gonna do a backslash we're gonna do the dollar sign and we're gonna do the parentheses um, and then excuse me one second here I think I might have had that out of, out of order uh, nope nope we're good 
I don't know why for some reason I was thinking I had that out of order. But we're gonna dollar sign, we're gonna do the parentheses, we're gonna do prompt underscore comment, and then we're gonna do the closing parentheses, we're gonna do a space, and we're gonna do the closing square bracket. We're gonna escape, we're gonna write, and that should do it. So let's go ahead and see what that exactly did. Remember I had these six files right here in this directory and the function we have is gonna find that directory and it's going to look for any of those text files, any of those six, it's gonna shuffle them, or pull a random one and it's gonna print out that message. So let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. Let's open a terminal. Oh man, look at that, it's telling me I am way too hot for his fan to handle, holy cow. This thing is a little uh, cheeky, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go ahead and CD into my root directory. Oh, has anyone told you you look like Brad Pitt? Oh man, Voidlytics, thank you so much for telling me that. You just made my day. Oh, you wanna go back home? Let's CD back home. Oh, oh, now you're just gonna be rude to me and tell me you just threw open your mouth a little bit. Basically what I've done here is I just created, if we go into any of these files, let's go into Ranger real quick, and you can see I have just, in these files here, I have just written some random stuff. Um, this is not useful in any way, shape, or form in this fashion. Like this stuff, unless you want to just have some goofy stuff show up on your prompt. That's This is just a way for me to kind of show you, you can pretty much put anything in your prompt you want to put into your prompt. Right now I have it throwing random compliments and insults at me every time I change directories or launch a terminal or whatever else. I mean, you could have it uh, print out uh, you know, a song lyric if you wanted it to. You could have your terminal uh, tell you, obviously tell you, you know you're good looking you could have you could just do any type of function you want to do in this really and and it'll print it out in your prompt and it's just kind of cool I just wanted to show that to you because there's just so much stuff little things that a lot of times you don't think about that you can do to just kind of tweak your system and make it your own just that little bit more and I just really like that fact about Linux and about and, and about this operating system um, and so I just wanted to show that and share that with you guys I hope this uh, is useful to you and if not useful I hope you just at least found it entertaining so let's go ahead and launch a few more terminals here let's close that out and launch it again and see what kind of compliments we get now oh I still look like Brad Pitt that's nice let's see the oh power off power off <laughs> we're gonna oh it's calling me good looking now um, and oh greetings now I'm ugly but so yeah again just something stupid to kind of show you how to go about doing it um, how to write that function right there in your dot bash RC and then how to actually input it in or implement it in your PS1 to show up in your prompt so just wanted to cover that and go over it with you i hope you liked it and i hope you have a great rest of your day god bless